Hey everybody, this here is Alex Bigley. Uh, welcome to day eight of uh, St. John's Wart. <clears throat> um, the reason why I'm putting this video out is because I seem to have a lot of confusion uh, when it comes to the whole St. John's Wart thing, and I don't want to mislead people. The last thing I want to do. I tried mentioning this in the comments or whatever, but people, most people don't don't pay attention to that. So, with that said. Um, <clears throat> I did try St. John's work for that week. For that week, it did seem to work for me. Um, I think I continued it for a little bit. Uh, I was feeling a lot of sensitivity to the sunlight, which is one possible side effect to it. Um, I did stop for a little while, and then I tried to get back on it, and it didn't work. Um, since then, a few things happened with me. Um, I saw a doctor. They prescribed one medication. Um, I think I'm still on it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll get to what I'm on now. <clears throat> and then I had a secondary one added to that. Um, the, the two medications I'm on right now, one is uh, it's a generic version of Wellbutrin uh, XL. <clears throat> and then the other one is Citalopram. Uh, or Selexia, Selexa, uh, which is the, the I guess the name brand is Selexa. And these, for the most for the most part, they're working for me very well. Um, granted, the St. John's Wort, I guess me, it, it could have been psychosomatic for me because I was expecting it to do stuff. Um, it kind of gave me a positive, like it sort of injected more positivity. Um, but it also, like I said, it didn't didn't last long. Um, this keeps me normal. This keeps me. It doesn't affect me negatively or positively. It just normalizes me, which is great. Um, I wouldn't mind having a bit more energy uh, and a bit more drive. But um, as it seems, I mean, I I can take like B vitamins or whatever probably for that or more caffeine. <laughs> um, I wanted to make this video because I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to, I didn't want to mislead anybody. And, if, and for one, into thinking that I'm still taking the St. John's board. Because I'm not. <clears throat> now, if something works for you, by all means, great, awesome, kick and bottom, stay with it. My suggestion would be, if you are indeed having issues with depression or any other kind of, um, behavioral mental illness like that or mental you know problem do go and try to seek help um, self-medication is n not really the answer because at the end of the day you you, you don't know um, what's best for you medically or if it is even something that can be helped medically. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes these things are caused by you know, a, a plethora of other uh, factors um, than just an imbalance issue. Like I said, for, the, for me, these two medications, they help me. <clears throat> My biggest suggestion would be for anybody who has this, if, even if you're on... St. John's work and it is working for you still, you know, talk to your, um, talk to your doctor, uh, speak to a psych psychiatric doctor if you can, um, at the time, <clears throat> you know, honesty, I was, um, I got kind of tired <laughs> of myself and dealing with the whole Jekyll and Hyde situation. So I went, um, and was going to get checked into a uh, mental health facility. Finding out the cost of that and the fact that my insurance, I don't think I had insurance at the time, would not have worked uh, or I wouldn't have been in there long. Um, I did come home and then that's when I started seeing uh, a doctor who did prescribe the first, uh, you know, the first set of medications for me, which I believe was a Wellbutrin. Um, and from there, you know, uh, I've, I've been great for the most part. Have I had problems since then? 
Yes, nothing is foolproof, but sometimes situations, they get a little too much. Um, I'm not going to blame the medication for that or say that it's because I'm not on St. John's Ward or whatever. <clears throat> the issue is simply that, you know, with this, I have more good or stable days than I have had bad days. And to me, that's what's more important. <clears throat> Because before, it, the, the majority was flipped. I had more bad days than I had good or stable days. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, just going forward, I, and I'm putting this into the playlist, and I'm, I'm you know, and I'm, I hopefully it'll be it'll show up and recommended along with the other St. John's work videos because I, I wanted to address this. I wanted this to be something that people saw and understood the the the, tr the tr further truth of what was going on with the St. John's Ward issue. And I, like I said, just don't want to mislead anyone. My best advice for you is if you are, if you are having these issues, seek help. Um, Self-medication and self-diagnosis, while it's good to acknowledge that you have an issue, seeking help with it uh, is indeed more important. And... E equally if not more important so um thank you very much for watching this and uh, if if you have seen the other videos and you found this one because of those please let me know um at least that way i know people are people are seeing it and hopefully uh we'll continue to see it because uh, here's the thing i have a lot of views a lot of views on those um and I have a lot of people, you know, saying, hey, great, I'm glad this worked for you. I'm going to go try it. Again, I, I don't like misinformation. I don't like misleading people. So I uh, just want to set the record straight. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you uh, in my next video.